to make sense of it all. We have with us CDV science and technology expert Dan Riskin. Hi, Dan. Great to see you. Great to see you. I feel like, you know, judging on what we're talking about, I should be in the studio with you in case a solar flare takes out our communication link. But we'll just hope things last through this next few minutes. <laughs> are you serious or are you joking? How seriously can this really happen where, you know, systems will go black? I am joking for this for the next five minutes for sure. So okay. what sort of got the alarm going is that there was this this huge eruption on the surface of the sun. It was back on May 14th. And so uh, we saw that it, it ejected a ton of material. That material did a glancing blow, not off the earth, but off of our magnetic field. Um, but it was a good wake up call. You know, it's a little bit like when you walk into a saloon and somebody fires their gun and it hits the chandelier. You pay attention to what's going on, right? You don't, well, I hit the chandelier. Right. I guess I don't have to even pay attention anymore. No, you pay attention to the person with the gun. And in this case, it's the sun shooting off these uh, chunks of its corona out into space. And it, these, the amount of energy is just hard to wrap your head around because, I mean, the, the, the sun is so big that what looks like, oh, it's just a little sort of bright spot on the sun. I guess that's not that big. That's like five Earths. I mean, it's huge. Wow. It's bigger than any explosion you could ever imagine on our planet. So... Uh, these are these are huge events, and they can have repercussions. But for right now, you don't need to you know worry about this conversation, this moment. You don't have to hide under your desk today. So, 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 what do we have to really worry about here? Well, what we have to do is just plan for these things. I mean, it's it's really it's not up to the average citizen like you and me to figure this out. This is for the people that run the infrastructure. If there were a huge event where a ton of this material hit the Earth straight on. Um, it can do things like mess up power lines. And there's this famous uh, event from 1859 called the Carrington event, where basically there was a big storm in space and people that were working telegraph wires got burned because the, the, it heated up all the wires that were sending electricity. And so, um, you know, these things, we, we rely so much on our electrical infrastructure now. And a lot of it is built with this stuff in mind, but uh, it hasn't really fully been tested. And so there is some concern that because we have all our eggs in that technological basket, that what it right. would take was one big storm and then everything would be down for quite a while. Okay, I'm going to ask you something, if you can explain a little more. I've been reading that how the sun's most active area is, is, is facing the Earth. So are there specific areas on Earth which are at more danger, perhaps, as compared to well, others? Yeah, I mean, so the, the sun rotates just like the Earth does. So we turn once a day. I think it's every 28 days that the sun rotates. And so you can see these spots on the sun, these, uh, you know, these flares or sunspots. They'll disappear. They'll go across the face of the sun over the course of a few days. They'll disappear for a while, and then they'll come back around to the side that faces us again. And so what we're seeing is these places where these storms are are facing toward the sun right now. And, and you know, they'll, they'll move away, but then they'll come back and face us once more. And so... You can make some calculations about which way this thing, the gun is aiming, so to speak. And when it's pointing at the Earth, you pay special attention. Um, but yeah, that's just part of the dynamics of the whole thing. And even when you think you know which direction it's going to go, it's, I mean, from the sun, the Earth is a pretty small target. So yeah. whether it hits the Earth or whether it blow, goes right past it uh, is just a roll of the dice. Well, I'm glad we had this interview without any blackouts, like you had said. Yeah, so. <laughs> knock on wood. we got a few seconds to go. We'll see. Dan, appreciate you joining us on the program. Thank you so much. That's CDV science Thanks, and technology expert, Dan Thanks. Riskin. Bye-bye.